Alright everyone, now it's time for a video. Now I don't mean to black pill anyone, so up front I'm going to talk about something different, but I would like to point out that Trump is not just running against Kamala Harris. At this point, he's also running against the entire legacy media. Minus Fox, depending on, you know, the specific journalist. Um, here's the white pills. Donald Trump is running well ahead of where he was in 2020. He's ahead or tied in most of the swing state polling. He's probably going to grab Pennsylvania. And if I were a betting man, and I'm not, I don't do any form of gambling. I pointed that out on yesterday's uh, New Tech exclusive. If I were a betting man, I'd be betting on Donald Trump to win re-election. I do not believe, based on the polling that I'm seeing and based on my read of the American people in general, that the American people are going to vote for Kamala Harris. Um, I can't believe that they would be fucktarded enough to do so. That being said, Trump does have multiple opponents. He's running, well, he's actually got even more opponents. He's running against Kamala Harris and Tim Walz, of course. That's the ticket. He's running against the legacy media. Look up Trump right now on news, uh, you know, for Google or anything like that. Then look up Harris. What you're going to find is massively lopsided coverage. Trump is constantly fact-checked. Harris is, there's no fact-checking really available there, other than occasionally, again, on Fox. This is for the legacy media, of course. Uh, we're talking about, like, the big media corporations. Uh, it's a little bit different. Missing Link Media is also completely on board with Harris for the most part. Um, it's basically only independent commentators like myself that are actually telling the true story of what's going on politically. Thankfully, we have disproportionate audiences. Um, the legacy media has been in decline for several decades now. There's a reason for this. This is probably Exhibit A. Um, look up Trump right now on Google News. You're not going to find a single shred of positive coverage there. You're not going to find anything. Maybe way down on page six or something, you'll, you'll find the one report where, uh, you know, Donald Trump, uh, the, apparently some multiple European leaders have scoffed at the idea that Donald Trump is uh, uh, laughed at by uh, certain European diplomats and stuff like that. That's pretty much the only one. It's like 99% negative. Look up Harris. Harris has legendary fundraising hall. Harris is a shining example of the new America, and stuff like that. Sloganeered fucking bullshit. It's fucking horse shit. Uh, and, and this has been happening now for years. This is why I disagree with Megyn Kelly, actually. Uh, a couple of days ago, I'll be talking about this on a, a possible live stream later, otherwise I'll just bump it to Monday and I may or may not cover it. Megyn Kelly was talking about how Harris voters were like morons and stuff like that. I disagree completely. I believe that uh, the way to handle people who want to vote for Kamala Harris, unless they're, you know, just partisans, because people have, like, generational politics sometimes, is to try to reason with them. If they can't see reason, appeal to emotion. If they can't uh, uh, feel the emotion, if they can't feel the vibe, as Gen Z would put it, um, then you may be at a loss. I like to believe that the average American is, is intelligent enough to see through Kamala Harris's empty suit. I mean, it's basically transparent, at least translucent. So I, th I think that uh, we're probably okay. I do worry for the country if Kamala Harris is elected, unlike with Joe Biden. Um, Joe Biden didn't worry me so much as it's like, okay, this is going to be shitty for a few years, but I never got the sense World War III would break out or anything like that. Trump is running also against the deep state in general. He's running against members of his own party. For some reason, there are commentators and individuals out there who think that it's some sort of virtue that George W. didn't uh, endorse Donald Trump. Oh my God, how telling. Okay, the warmonger, the premier retard of U.S. political history, didn't endorse him. Is this going to make me more or less likely to vote for Trump? Mitt Romney? Hmm, the dude that you called the devil. The dude who said, like, binders full of women and crazy shit like that. I mean, yes, yeah, so he didn't endorse Trump. He decided to uh, sit it out. It, that's a real blot on his character. Oh my god, Dick Cheney doesn't like him? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, th this has happened multiple times. Uh, then you have uh, the Uniparty in the sense of the legal persecution, the lawfare, the DOJ, um, you know, multiple prosecutors. 
those cases all falling through, by the way, which was by design. The only purpose of those cases was to say Trump is a felon, so you can't elect him. It's literally an attempt by the judiciary to interfere with our democracy at both the state and sometimes local level uh, and, and, and federal level as well. It's a complete onslaught. Donald Trump, if he were not subject to the special kind of persecution that he's facing legally, uh, the propaganda from the legacy media, if, if there was fair and balanced coverage, not to use a slogan there, uh, etc., would probably be fucking 15 points ahead by now. They are doing everything that they can to stop him, and he's still at least breaking even right now. This is an ultimate white pill video, actually, when you think about it. Despite the cavalcade, the absolute avalanche of propaganda, the absolute avalanche of persecution, Trump is probably ahead right now. This does not, by the way, say good things for the Democratic Party's candidate. And she's raising three to one as far as money. She still can't pull ahead. She's still behind in Arizona. We know that. Uh, that we've got aggregated polling. She's behind in Georgia. Uh, probably can't nail that. Uh, they're, they're, the legacy media is trying to astroturf the idea of her winning Florida, and I'm sitting there shaking my head, thinking to myself, what are you people even thinking? Uh, it makes absolutely no sense. It's literally just an astroturf. It's designed, number one, to demoralize Trump supporters, and number two, to try to buck up hum Kamala Harris supporters. And to try to persecute Donald Trump because he'll actually follow through with what he says he wants to do. Politicians aren't supposed to do that. Politicians are supposed to make empty, vacuous statements during election season, promise everyone a chicken in the pot, and then there's no chicken in the pot after they get elected. That's about all. Peace out.